unfiltered opinion about bb titan housemates yemi stopped playing games in the house and he became boring one girl who i'm just like you know what i can't wait for her to be a victim let's talk about a bang please joe how are you tall sexy beautiful and you have a low self-esteem what's up blue is one girl that i like so let me tell you why i like blue yeah Oh, every year there must be an Elisa, you get me? Miracle is somebody who I feel is played Perez game. Do you know why I'm saying that? Listen to me. What's been happening? My name is Omi Odike Nwachik. I hope my pants is you know show that you know it didn't show. My name is Omi Odike Nwachiku and I have missed the hell out of you like you don't even understand i have a lot to talk to you about today. It's been a while I've come to the channel to just see that one just have a conversation with you. Okay, I want to just tell you why I've not been reviewing Big Brother Ninja show. No, Big Brother show, literally. Because last, like, review video you saw, I was reviewing, I was heavily pregnant. Y'all could tell. You guys were in, my, in the comments, guessing, predicting everything. You get me? And then, of course, like, I gave birth and I just went blank. And I went mute on you for a long, long time. And the next thing you know... Talk to your homie TV is posting a video is about her and her hobby which that episode is or that series is interesting but let me just like bring you up to speed so in this video i want to tell you why i'm not reviewing the show but i would also just give you my own unfiltered legit opinion about this bb, BB titan housemates who i like who i feel is messing up a lot bracket yummy yeah, so i'm telling you guys all that gist and i'll be telling you guys what's going to happen in the future yeah kabucha is whole like i wanted to look sexy and fine for you but i'm horse so i can't even lie anyways let's go to why i'm not doing big brother you guys i can't even lie to you man i have a child now i have my mother now life has changed if you're single my sister we will marry sharp sharp my sister eh? every single minute of your single days cherish it if you're married before you get, before you have a baby enjoy in fact in life anywhere you are literally really enjoy yourself because marriage takes like 50 percent of your time i mean now you have your husband you have to be you get me when you're now born again ah oh more that one's not total maybe 100 or 80 do you get me so life has changed totally i can't i really can't function i really cannot go back to just film baby and it's not possible because reviewing that show takes a lot of work if you see anybody who's doing that show big them up it's not easy like you got to be up all night you have to get your paper and barrel jotting things down i can't i'm my hand is with my baby i'm feeding him life has literally changed really that's why you've not seen me filming big brother titan day one second reason is that see during pregnancy yeah or like even delivery i went through a lot my child birth story like it was so much i'm writing a book out of it if you get the book you will understand the huge role reviewing big brother played in my in my life in all sincerity but it was a lot it, it it took a lot out of me and i just wanted to just pause and reassess my life in doing that you know this talk to your homie tv right at the beginning of the journey like before i opened a youtube channel i had a i had like a vision for what i wanted to achieve why am i talking online what was as in what i want to do i went to help ladies i went to help men i went to build confidence i went to help you push yourself as same i want to have a community of people who like are stronger who have more confidence in themselves who just i want to delve into that i want to talk on relationship i want to tell you like how we are jonesing in relationship why guys are playing with girls anyhow why girls are playing with guys i want to put my mouth in that matter and if you notice when i review the show any season i'm always talking about you know which girl is messing up which guy you know yeah so i just think that at this point in time I want to put more energy doing what I truly love to do. I know you love Big Brother. I know you love it when I review it. But I think that, let me tell you how you need to say it, yeah? It's still, like going forward, I'm still going to be doing the same thing just with a different approach you get me yeah so let's say something is trending and I, and I, I see how it affects relationship i'll talk about that i have an episode coming up right now i saw a video that omale did omale if you guys don't know i stayed just in again but it doesn't matter if you don't know omale talked about how like, he's, a, he's a musician in nigeria yeah and he broke up with his girlfriend long time relationship and it's hurting him years after he's now a big star he's still hurting you get me and so my husband and i entered the master well and discussed what we can learn out of you get me yeah so things are gonna change out here man but it's still the same me 
it's still the same conversations it's just I'm, I'm not just going to be doing oh big brother review every time now like since this new season i'm not going to lie to you i've never watched the saturday like after party you like you know when the gist i've never because i don't have the time to get here so i just felt like it, be, it was rude of me to just come and just boot my new series boom in your faces without coming to properly just carry you along so let me introduce if you guys haven't checked it out i have a new series with my husband it's called love and his issues and there we dissect things happen in real life i think the last two episodes we have been casting ourselves because you know how people will see personalities online and you look like oh my god you people are just so perfect you and your husband the kind of comments i get in my vlog you are so perfect my dear we did fight too <laughs> yeah i'm telling you and, I, and i'm being real you get me because in the news what what you see is this person is divorced 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 is it that you see divorce or you see too much love so let us show you reality we love we disagree we make out you get me like yeah the reality yeah so we're going to be discussing that and also giving like you know tips on a relationship what you should do what you should not do today after this video i'm filming another episode and we're talking about just tell you guys no don't worry i'll tell you guys when the episode comes you'll see it so love and its issues series you'll be seeing that you also see like um put your big girl's panties on it's, it's a series i was doing on my vlog channel but i want to bring it here because I mean, we need to put our biggest panties on as ladies, you get me? So there, I'll be just talking to ladies on how to live a better life, how to be successful, how to push yourself. In the midst of everything, in the midst of pressure, life, brokenness, how to just push yourself and succeed. And by the way, I, I forgot to address it. This is post-election period, you guys. Uh, please. <sighs> we tried our best. We did what we could do. You get me? We voted. Me, I voted. Because I'm, I'm sure you can guess what I voted for. I mean, I did everything I could possibly do. I also prayed. See, I'm sweating, gosh. I also prayed, fasted, voted. I did them. Um, I a challenge. I did everything I could do, but things are going on this way. I'm happy. I supported Peter Obi. Let me just be truthful. And I'm happy to see that he's, he's fighting for his mandate. You get me? But life has to go on still. I cannot... We can't just keep staying back on now. We can't, like... I'm going to follow his movements. I'm going to follow his court case. But I'm also going to wish him luck and pray for him. I pray for Nigeria, really. But I also have to continue doing what I do. Because, I mean, I got to feed. Things are expensive. If I don't do my work, Baba, I go so far here. Okay, that's it. I hope you're now being carried along as to why you're seeing different content on my channel. We got to move. I have to now follow what I truly love. I'm not getting any younger five years from now i don't want it to be that i'm only reviewing shows i want to i, I want to see compilation of like my advice my talks my topics lives have changed and i'm telling you like talk everybody who you think needs to grow mentally spiritually as an individual they should come here because we're, we're going to grow together now that being said let me now delve into just summary of what i think about the housemate in Big Brother Titan. I'm going to talk about Yemi first because it is scratch me to talk about him. Yemi, oh my gosh, man. We need to give Yemi his credit, really. Because he's the first person who made, like, cheating cool. <laughs> it's amazing how Yemi stopped playing games in the house and he became boring. Like, I I'm never going to lie to you. The ca it kind of feels like every time the camera is on Yemi and Kosti, they are fighting over, do like... I'm just like, man, how big with this election thing where they did my I'm just see like I cannot I'm tired of seeing Yemi and Kosi fighting over one nonsense or the other. The guy has stopped cheating or stopped playing his game. You're still dragging him. But why now? So yeah, man. Ye Yemi is somebody who could have won. He had potentials to be the winner. But I feel like he's lost his head in the game. We want Yemi, who was playing with Blue and Kosi back just to make the show interesting, obviously. Yeah, because aside that, like, it feels like he's one old guy who's, who is trying to change. Like, he feels, let me tell you how he feels. It feels like one 70-year-old guy right now who got married to a 35-year-old lady who's tripping for a 22-year-old guy. And every time the old man is snooping, like, what's up? That's how Yemi feels. I'm so sorry, but yeah. And I, I, and I just feel like, uh, that might affect, in fact, his game has been affected a lot. Kosi, on the other hand, okay, let me tell you how, how I see Kosi sincerely. By now, we know Kosi, okay, I won't say by now we know, but I, I feel like she doesn't have a boyfriend. I mean, who do enters the house? Since you have a serious relationship, four years, then 
two days into your into the show you've carried your bed to go and stay beside one guy and then the girl, another girl comes the guys liking the girl you're fighting the guy but you're also doing some you get me on the side run with another guy like baba what's up with you as an individual i'm not feeling her, her energy but for the game is good for the game she's giving us gist every day is gist 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 up and down i mean i pity yemi because he's been dragged along but never forget that this is a game it's big brother's house duh you can't be boring so yeah big ups cosy for that so again kind of guy is one person who i feel like i think he has a high a high chance of winning because let me tell you why i feel so i feel i feel so because ninja we've just looked and said okay at the very body now who can we just speak to support on the last day? Maybe Kanaga. You know, because initially it could have been Yemi, but Yemi is... Where are you going to? So Kanaga feels like the right candidate to win. Do you get me? Yeah, he, he's fine, shy. he has energy when he wants to have... You know, we, we, we can dash him the winning, yeah? But, aside that, Kanaga is not really giving me any gist at all. Like, it's pretty, like... If, if you see Kanaga, like, he's just like giving you one motivational speech. I, see, at the beginning, he used to be my guy. I will not lie, but now okay like when i watch the show i don't think kanaga gives me any gist if i'm being truthful you get me i'm just like mm, okay sing with tati tati on the other hand is one girl who i'm just like you know what i can't wait for her to be evicted and i'm so sorry but like really though uh, i feel like tati is playing over like she's playing the game but she's stepping on toes and she's still acting like she's a sweet person. I can't, I can't forget the day yemi was gonna meet her based on she won hit to hit see i'm here to just okay this is just just for you you know special edition yeah hey, hey, hey. yeah me really said oh you know tati you're my girl tati was like yeah don't worry i got you no problem she went and yeah and nominated yelisa i was like yeah this girl is cold man and the way she moves a boo boo anyhow like no don't play i want to play like maybe you're relaxed yo how even nominating can i val? like what I mean, I understand that she's not, she, she has a pair and they have to decide, but I've never seen Can I ever nominate Tati's team because, like, that's family, duh. So I'm like, Tati, I better move. Ebu, hey, I'm happy for him. I'm happy he's still there, see. But I just feel like they might, they might be evicted this Sunday or they might stay because right now Nigerians are distracted. Not be big brother, they are ahead. We're like, what's going to happen? What's the future? So maybe that might not make Nigerians vote, but I'm happy Ebu hey, is there. Olivia, eh? she's interesting she's funny but uh, i don't know man i don't know what ta ta bang let's talk about tabang please joe see i want to like him you get me i mean because he's playing a good game i just don't like those little little nigerian men don't have ashy feet nigeria like, i've seen too many tabang talking about nigeria not having like the best things to say out of all the south african housemates is somebody who i've seen talk about and you know i'm just like I beg you. So I want to like him, but that Nigerian thing has just affected me small. I can't lie. Who oh, again? Ipeleg is a beautiful lady. What? Ipeleg is one girl that her girl will have her self esteem pumped up because how are you tall, sexy, beautiful, and you have a low self esteem? Sup? She needs to be in my put your big girl's panties on edition because we that place we jig ladies up to. Wow, well, you have a low self esteem. What's up? You're hot. You're fine, girl. Carry yourself, Roger. Are you mad? Yeah. Who again? I was talking about. Oh, I like blue. Blue is one girl that I like. Same time, I like blue. Yeah. The odds might be against her. See, it's not easy to be in a house. Yeah. And then the, the guy is liking you, and the guy has another chick, and so there's energy between you and that chick. And the chick is literally the chick is cussy. We know, right? The chick is literally going up and down talking to guys discrediting you you can feel the energy but she's still carrying her head up high even when marvin and black were trying to connect against her the girls say like, how is she still standing looking fine giving a yeah boy every party day like what I'm, i like blue i can't lie to you i really do like her and who again is in that house i haven't spoken about black boy mm, okay i mean nothing really he's here yeah. nothing I, I don't see any gist from him who again is there? Ooh, let me think about it. Who? Nelisa. Oh, every year there must be a Nelisa. You get me? That girl who really wants a relationship, but the guys are not really sending her. But like the way the bank is doing that girl, I'm just like, you know, at this point in time, all Nelisa just wants is just a man to cuddle her and give her small, small kisses up and down, you know, here and there. You get me? Because I'm just like I know I don't say I'm in a game, but like if a guy is treating me like where will we sleep tonight? The guy saying are we? 
I was just joking. Like, you're not joking, my brother. You don't really send this girl, duh. Yeah. What big? Ginger, Joe, leave it. That's how I feel about Nelisa. Who again? Nelisa, Tati, Ebubo. Uh, Ooh, okay. So, if one is on that person who has a strong chance to stay long, I don't know if she can win, but. I mean, it's the same thing with can with Kanaga. She's the finest. No, I don't say finest girl. But I mean, Nigeria, yeah, she's fine. She's hot. She's a pretty girl. Duh. She has a strong chance of winning because I find it's not easy to be to be the best, the only person in your pair carrying your pair, and you people are not even bottom three at all. Are you joking? That's her fans are strong. You get me? So yeah, big ups, Yvonne. And she's an interesting person. I, I like that. I like that she wasn't predictable. I like that she did not give Juicy, like, I felt like she was going to play some Nengi game where she would play with Juicy all through the game. That become boring. Like, how Kosi and Yemi to me have gotten so boring. Like, which of that fight was Kosi want to fight with Yemi? I'm just like, baby girl, I beg, I beg. Don't be you in my head, I beg. Yeah. So I like that. At least something is brewing between Yvonne and Juicy J in the house. Juicy J, interesting lad, if you ask me. Miracle. Miracle is somebody who I feel is playing Perez game. Do you know why I'm saying that? Listen to me. From the point where we coded that Miracle and a Angel were friends before the house, I'm just looking like, okay, you were friends before the house. Then you're not going to the house. Then you're not wanting to now, um, to you, Jenny O being in the kitchen was strategy. And he told Kosi that he wanted to break Jenny O and her kitchen strategy. Remember, strategy kitchen, white money parent, yeah, all of a sudden right now, Miracle is attacking the guy who seems to be like the strongest male housemates in the house yemi he's attacking him up and down up and down up and down he looks like he's playing a card that i've seen before however he's an interesting person he said initially annoying but i like him i like his energy i like that i like that he pulls up he pulls up a lot intact he pulls up i like him i can't lie i like to see what's brewing between miracle and even though it looks like it's boredom they're both bored they both don't have any other male counterpart or female counterpart you get me so they have to just be together but I can't lie. I like what is brewing between Miracle and Ipeleng. I'm who again talking about. I don't know, man. I think for me to be thinking of the person, maybe the person no get ginger. Nah, nah. Hmm, just there. Nothing real. For me, you, you get me. Yeah, but that's it. My darling, I hope I've been able to explain to you why I'm not doing the show. But you guys, I promise you, if you've watched an episode of my love and issues, hey, gosh. I'm not going to lie. This last episode, we talked about a fight we had. Like, the fight was the defining factor as to why I married my husband. If he had jounced, we would not have gotten married. I'm not going to lie to you. But the fight was what made me say, okay, you know what? I'm going to marry him, yeah. So what you will be seeing is like different shows and different segments of different things on my channel, yeah. So Love and Issues is one segment in my channel that you just want to follow. You get me, yeah. And if you've watched Love and Issues, please go down and brag about it. If I talk about your fave and you don't like it, this is my opinion. I'm not talking about, I'm not saying that's the, it's all, that's what all me things. You get me, yeah. That's what I think. Don't beat me, don't flog me. That's what I think. You can say what you think in the comment section, yeah. On that note, I love you with all my heart. Omi is back. Omi is better. I look fine. I feel good. I'm happy. I can't lie. I mean, look at me making up again. If you followed my vlog, okay, now I have a vlog channel here where I show you like my life, how I'm living, how my life is turning, like this motherhood side of me. At the beginning of the journey, hi, I look so dead. I was looking so, ah, looking back at my videos, I'm just like, Omi, was that you? Look at how you're looking dead. <laughs> but thank god thank god for time and process and i want to talk to any like soon to be mom here give yourself time to give us no pressure like you should have a period where you don't look your best and it's not bad you get me you will still get to the point where you look as hot as i look and i'm still on my own journey i've never even because when i come back i will sick. are you i i i joking <laughs> you know what maybe that's that's the next put your big girl's panties on Mm, episode I might do you know because I feel like a lot of us put pressure on ourselves as mothers so I have to talk about all that but yeah I love you with all my heart you mean so much to me you really do mean so much to me I promise you and I'm sweating man Apuja is hot ah I love you bye bye